Hello guys! Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I am Maria. My wife and I run this channel. We share everything from family to home, marriage, anything you can think of and anything in between there, we cover here. So thank you for joining us. This video is actually, I finally got my wife Casey to declutter her closet. And I mean, I have never really been able to have her just go through it at once. So this was like a very big moment for me. Very big moment. I would never consider myself a minimalist because I am not. Now, what I would say is that I am way more conscious now about the things that I bring into my home or the things that I allow to live in my space. When you are doing this in your own space, you need to be mindful not to drag others with you. Well, try to drag others with you. Just let them do it in their own time. Literally, this was filmed on Valentine's Day. We were sitting on the couch. And Casey was like, you know, I think it's the day. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I think I want to go through my closet. And I was like, really? Let's do it. Anyway, so I typically pull Marie Kondo and throw everything on the bed. Since she doesn't work that way, we took it one step at a time. I'm just going to show you guys here what that process was like. Alrighty, so obviously I started the process and thought it was for me and then I remembered that it was actually for Casey. <laughs> so we switched the method and started going rack by rack instead of dumping everything out on the bed. to create piles start with keep pile that's the one pile that you know you are going to keep it's basically the non-negotiable you also want to have questionable pile meaning you may have to go through the pile one more time in order to uh, fully sort it then you also want to create a no pile now this no pile is going to be separated into two groups which means this no pile is partly for selling or giving away and some of it will inevitably be trash because you were likely holding on to something that had no more life in it do not forget to recruit some help not necessarily this kind of help but make sure you get this kind of help You want to really assess what point of your life you are in right now and not think of what your future self will want to wear. I have also learned to detach any emotion from my material belongings because they really do not hold that sentimental value that we often give them. So it is important to just understand that if it brought you joy at some point and it is no longer bringing you joy, you can say goodbye. I barely wear them to have five. You guys. If you have a spouse or significant other, you want to make sure that you give them their time and space to part with their belongings. Try not to force it on them. I one time tossed one of Casey's pajamas. I hear about it till this day. Please don't make the same mistake. So we have the to-go pile. So that means we're going to sort through it. Anything that can be donated or sent to the Dominican Republic, anything like that. We'll do that with that. This pile is that we still need to go over it one more time. That's my stuff, and Casey just put back... Where's the rest of your stuff? The dresses, and that's it. We're done. That, wait, so what? Go, what's going on there? My, my clothes. So my clothes is going to go on the top, and then I think that bottom piece will be empty. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All righty, guys. Let's see. Here it is. This is my cell pile. 
and this pile is going to be given away. I am so proud of Casey. These are all empty hangers. enjoy that 61 items taken out of our closet that is such a huge thing and I am so proud literally so proud of just this moment the point is it's not not to buy things it's to buy things that make you happy did you notice when she was talking about her cardigans she said I have five cardigans I don't even wear cardigans that often I have five those are the little things. Something else you might want to pay attention to is where you drop off your clothes. There's tons of these places that are like secondhand places. You drop them off, but they have a huge back stock and most of the things just end up in the trash anyways. So try to sell as much as you can. You can list them on Facebook Marketplace, uh, Poshmark. There's tons of different ways you can do that. Typically, even if you sell it, if you give it out for free, you'll know that it's going to be used, whether it's clothing, furniture, whatever it is, if someone takes the time to come and pick it up. So that gives it more value and you know that it will get a little more life instead of ending up in a landfill. Other than that, I am really looking forward to doing more videos like this because I think there's a lot more to declutter in our home, but I'm going to take it one step at a time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you 